tropical storm or will tropical storm Elsa strengthen here in the hours and days ahead? Well, I think it's going to need to pick the pieces up after it crosses completely over Cuba. But the issue is two things. Number one, of course, the water is very warm, so that would favor. But there is an upper level uh, low pressure area that's sort of spinning over the Gulf of Mexico area. So that is going to impact some of the speed in which it can get back together or start to intensify. So as of right now, even the Hurricane Center, they are not ramping this thing up really fast. But as everybody knows, we need to watch it carefully. There's still going to be a time when it's offshore for a while until around or north of the Tampa area, as you can see there. And I always remind people too: don't necessarily concern yourself with that cone. Concern yourself with the actual width of the storm and the wind field. And uh, we're going to see some of those outer bands as we were talking, Ian and I, just a short time ago with the risk of tornadoes with some of those outer bands. But as of right now, we do not expect rapid intensification. And part of that is that spiraling wind high up in the atmosphere over the Gulf of Mexico. So let's hope that is the case. But uh, everybody needs to watch it closely. 